Hey guys, this is Saint Checking In. Now today I have a really quick fix video for you guys. Now um, I've been looking on the internet for a couple of days, two or three days mostly, and um, I could not find a fix for this at all. Now um, first I'm going to explain the problem and then show you guys the fix. So um, the problem is I could not install any applications with Installers 4. Now I looked on the internet and I seen that other people have been having the same exact problem similar if not um, the exact same problem and um, I found a quick fix and it does work I mean I haven't been installing any applications with installers for like a week now just because of that problem but now I can so I'm going to show you guys and um, hopefully this fixes everything so you guys like this video up please so this info could get out there and people can see this if they search this on YouTube or search this on Google or something like that so like this video up comment below if it does not work for you and um, subscribe up top for more for more videos to come so like I said I could not install any applications on my iPod touch 4g at all and um, I would get this error message once I download the application and when it's trying to install it doesn't install but it gives me this error message saying um, invalid invalid IPA uh, installation failed so um, I thought it was something with the sources so I tried other different um, sources or um, websites like file dude or file ape or two shared or four shared or whatever it was available for that version and it had, did the exact same thing so I found a fix and I'm gonna show you guys right now so I have my iDemo already loaded up and ready to go I'm gonna just jump into Cydia which I also have already up and ready to go so this will be a quick video now I want you guys to wait for everything to load on Cydia I want you guys to go to manage and sources now when you install installers 4 you should only install installers 4 from this source hackless.us and the source is http backslash backslash cydia.hackulo.us that's the only source you should be downloading installers from now when I installed installers 4 the first time um, you, you're, supposed to, you, you're supposed to get sub um, add-ons with installers 4 like um, as you can see app sync for 4.0 you're supposed to get hackerless resources installers 4 and source GUI those are really the four main add-ons you're supposed to get with installers 4 now I'm going to show you guys what I did had so I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type in app sync and this if you guys do this right now you're probably gonna see the exact same thing and um, you guys can fix this right now so you see all the app syncs that come in different types of sources as, as you can see I have a bunch of sources on my iDevice loaded up so um, I did not have the hackerless app sync for 4.0 downloaded with installers I had the Excelize app sync now as you can see it doesn't have a 4.0 next to it and I think that was I think that was the problem if you don't have a 4.0 plus sign next to your app sync, I'm thinking this is causing a problem in install for what it did for me. Once I uninstalled app sync and sell our source and installed the hackless version of app sync, it worked like a charm. So um, if you guys if this is happening to you, please uninstall app sync and sell eyes and go and download uh, um, the hackless app sync version. So as you can see, there's a bunch of um, app syncs. 3.1, 3.2, and a whole bunch of things right there. So you have to make sure AppSync is is matched up with your firmware. So if you have on 3.1, I don't know why. If you're on 3.1, make sure you have AppSync 3.1. If you're on 4.0, 4.1, 4.2.1, 4 .1, 4 4 .1, or 4.3, if 4.3 even allows you to install installers, um, make sure you download the AppSync for 4.0 and up. That is it. If it only says AppSync next to it, uninstall it right now. So um, that's pretty much it. That's my fix. Um, I'm going to show you guys really quick, just for the sake of this video, that it does work. And I'm going to go to installers right now. And there we have it. I'm going to install this and download something really quick. I'm just going to go in the browse. Nothing too major. Something really, really quick probably like clock or something. I'm going to search alarm clock alarm nah, that gave me a bunch of I'm going to put alarm pro ah. I'm just going to 
going to search alarm and scroll down and see what they give me. Okay, 7 and 1 alarm. That's it. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so we're going to download. And uh, as you can see, it has a bunch of um, sources or websites for that version. So I'm just going to click on File Dude. Um, it wasn't a problem with the uh, websites. It was the problem with the app sync. Hopefully, that happens for you. So I'm just going to show you guys how to. Um, I'm just going to show you that that wasn't the case. The sources are fine. Do not no, go complaining to the people that um, put their name under the source saying it was cracked by this person and go complain to them because I don't think it's their problem. So I see that one's taking a little bit of time to load. Each source for me, it takes a while to load, like file 8 loads right up. So I'm going to click regular. I'm, gonna, and I, um, I'm just going to fast forward through this to zero. Okay, just hit zero and I'm just going to get download ready. Click here and my download has started. Now, um, initially it would download before um, I, fi I found this fix. It would download and then I already have in my settings. I'm just going to go to, um, I forgot how to get the settings. I'm going to go to my settings right here and show you guys why that's downloading. That it I have install automatically checked on. So um, it was try to install automatically, but it wouldn't install. I would get that error message. As you can see, right as you can see in a few minutes, I'm not going to get that message, and it's going to install. And we'll show you guys it's on my iDevice. Okay, it's completed, and it's trying to install it on my iDevice, which it should successfully do that. And this is all real time. Okay, there you go, you guys. Installed. Now, it would not say that before. It would give me a little blue box error message thing, and nothing would happen. It would just be downloaded on my device. Every time I try to install the IPA, it wouldn't install. So, I'm just going to click my home button and go home. And here's my home. So, I'm going to scroll over, and there you have it right in the top left alarm clock 7 and 1. Right there, I'm going to delete this because I don't like that. So, there you have it. I proved it. And um, hopefully this fix worked for you guys. Like I said, like this video up. Um, if you find this helpful. Uh, and plus, so this information can get out to the world. Or get out to whoever who needs it. And um, they can find this fix and do it themselves. So, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, until the next one, guys. Peace.